Hey everybody, Nakul from Skills Isles. I really hope everybody is doing fantastic. I'm back with at another video as requested by you guys. True, today we're talking about discuss both the sides and then give your opinion that kind of essay with an essay template. True, we have a template for this as well. If you've missed watching my previous set of videos on agree disagree essay template, problem solution essay template, advantage outweigh disadvantage essay template, it's time you have a look at it as well. The video is somewhere here or in the description. But today we are concentrating on discuss both the sides and then give your opinion kind of essay with an essay template, working template will work for seven, will work for eight, everything. You don't have to worry about which connector to use, which structure to use, which words to use modifiers, vocabulary, comma, everything the template covers. You just have to know how to fill it. And trust me, today's video is a special video. Make sure you watch the video till the end. All right, guys. So before we get into the video, if not subscribe to this channel, click on the subscribe button for the future notifications. And anytime you need online assistance, like one-to-one -one feedback, it's a paid assistance. One-to-one -one speaking classes, mocks, reading mock, listening mocks, you can text us in the WhatsApp. We will be there. I'll be there to guide you in the right way and to tell you a lot of students on an everyday basis are getting that 7 and above even some 8 and 8.5. Don't delay your success. Anytime you need online paid assistance, you can text us in the WhatsApp. We will guide you in the right way. All right, getting into the video. Today's video is all about template, a template, template, working template for the essay type. Discuss both the sides and give your opinion. All right, so let me just share my screen. So this is an introduction where you don't write much pay more attention a wise man will never write intro so much he builds that curiosity in the intro that's it he'll not you know give out all the secrets in the intro so be that wise man don't write everything in the intro it's a waste of time because what gives you mark is body paragraph one and body paragraph two that is second and the third para not the intro just use this template when it comes to topic one word you need to write there are differing opinions on the matter it is important to explore both sides of the argument to gain a comprehensive understanding in this essay both sides of the topic will be discussed followed by my opinion one one and a half minute man you will not take 10 minutes to write intro use the template that's enough is it working, Nakul? Yes, it gives you good marks for your grammar. It gives you excellent marks for your vocabulary. See the usage of the words, differing opinions, comprehensive understanding, correct? So few of the words like this, the modifiers gives you better marks for your vocabulary and grammar. If you see, all of them have complex sentence, compound sentence, simple sentence, already in introduction. Just follow it. How to fill it? I'll show you. This is the introduction. Don't have to worry too much. Just copy paste. It will definitely work. Body 1 and body 2, yes, this is something very, very important. And we have body 3 as well. We will talk about the structure in just a while. So the body 1 is all about, since the question is discussed both the sides, correct? You need to talk about side A and the side B. And then give your opinion, which will be in the fourth paragraph. And then you give conclusion in the fifth paragraph. This template is going to be a five paragraph template. Paragraph 1 introduction we just finished. Paragraph 2, body 1, where you talk about the arguments in favor of the topic because it's both the sides so now you will exactly copy paste the template supporters of side a argue that you give your main idea now pay more attention it is all about coherent cohesion means narration means supporting ideas no knuckle i don't want to give supporting ideas the examiner says then i don't want to give you mark it's as simple as that people have exceptional english but doesn't have do not have good guidance, right guidance to get that seven. The supporting points are the ones that actually give the marks. It's not just the main idea. So now you wrote or you write the main idea, you write supporting idea. This is because. And then you give some example, for instance. So an ideal essay would just be this for a body paragraph one, but you have one more idea. Now I can write more, then you write additionally. This can be seen in instances where pay more attention we will spend enough time on this and then we will see how to fill it filling it is very easy using an example it's about understanding how the template is structured the first line gonna be supporters of the topic argue that give one main idea and whatever you write give a supporting idea this is because and whatever you write give an instance three to four or five sentences a supporting idea i suggest write in one sentence uh, that is this is because for instance write in two sentences i'll show you how to write in just a while once this is done you can write additionally so this itself becomes four to five sentences and additionally you write second idea 
So now ideally for whatever the idea you write, you need to write supporting points in terms of this is because and for instance, since you already written that for this, I am not doing the same. If I give you the template where see here supporters of side A argue that one main idea and then supporting idea and then example here the immediate supporting idea I am negating because it becomes a very long essay. So you write second supporting idea in terms of instances directly okay no this is because that is not that additionally well if you want you can add this is because and write out this is due to the fact and write and then give example gonna be a lengthy one since we have already written it here here it's not required additionally write an argument that is second idea and then instance this can be seen in instances where this favors side one is this because both the sides right now side two you're gonna see arguments against on the other hand i want that exact word opponents of write the topic content that write the main idea why you are against it now this means to instantiate same structure similar structure main idea supporting idea example you finish it and then moreover one more main idea if you have in your mind otherwise this is not required not mandatory one idea is enough trust me on this no, no, I have one more idea in my mind, then you can write. Moreover, dash is frequently raised, indicating now you need to write another idea going against it. These are the disadvantages that are frequently raised, indicating right and reasoning. And then this refers to the fact that one more supporting idea. This is where your marks are hidden. This you need to really understand how to write. So don't forward the video. Make sure you watch the video till the end because next we have an example. So this is body one and body two. And now we go to the opinion that is for the paragraph because question is discussed both the sides and then give your opinion. So now you're going to give your opinion after considering both sides of the argument. I'm inclined to support one of the sides. I'm sub inclined to support let's see the topic name you write if you say um, you're going against then you can say i'm inclined to support this in an opposite way or i'm inclined to oppose this you can write uh, i find the arguments in favor of more compelling because you write a reason while there are valid points made by the opposing side i believe that offers considerations or advantages or benefits that outweigh the drawbacks don't get confused it's a very simple template opinion when you write on your own you for sure make mistakes in opinion what you should say let's say the question is mandatory school uniform in the schools uniform should be compulsory now you say after considering both sides of the argument i'm inclined to support mandating the uniforms i find the arguments in favor of mandating uniforms more compelling because the compulsory uniforms promote equality which you would have told in the body one while there are valid points made by the opposing side i believe that mandatory uniform offer considerations that outweigh the drawbacks a very simple isn't it when you write on your own perhaps you may not write this eloquent this fluent and you may take time when you know this in advance it's easy peasy it's peanut and getting that score is also easy peasy we will show how to implement this in just a while and then conclude in conclusion while side a can have benefits like abc side b can have drawbacks like abc in my opinion the benefits side a poses always outweigh the limitations we'll show what is abc how to write but this is the outline of the template don't you think don't you feel that if you have this template handy it just flows you don't have to think much you exactly know which structure to use you read the question oh this is the structure this is the template this is the words don't have to worry about vocabulary essay will cover everything don't have to worry about grammar essay will cover everything don't have to worry about coherence cohesion essay will cover everything then what i need to worry in a cool task response supporting points that's all it is and if you're good at it trust me getting eight is not so far not very difficult all right i'm not simply exaggerating i'm telling you the fact all right so let's take a question some people opine that school uniforms should be mandatory while others feel it should not be mandatory there has to be a full stop here discuss both the sides and then 
give your opinion same thing exact copy paste introduction you will not think a lot in introduction when it comes to mandating the school uniform there are differing opinions on the matter it is important to explore both sides of the argument to gain a comprehensive understanding in this essay both sides of the topic will be discussed followed by my opinion isn't it easy now cool can i use this definitely yes tested more than 10,000 students. It will definitely work. You can just rely on this. Well, if you want to write on your own, you're free to write definitely. No, if I write on my own, perhaps I may end up making a lot of mistakes. Then trust me, this is for you. It helps. It definitely helps. Now you need to talk about mandating or compulsory um, mandating, mandating the school uniforms. Why it is good? That's what I discussed both the sides. Now you should say why uniform should be made compulsory. Next paragraph, you're going to write why uniform should not be made compulsory. All right. Supporters of side A, mandatory school uniform argue that write a main idea in simple sentence, not a lengthy compound complex sentence. When you have a very important point to make psychologically, you always should give a small sentence. If you make a big sentence, the listener will not know which sentence you're exactly trying to make give that shot what is your name actually oh no, no. what is your name um, actually you know what uh, what is your name my name is nakul enough that is what you have to write in the main idea supporting ideas are there to support that you can explain with compound complex lengthy sentence but here don't make lengthy sentences supporters of mandatory school uniforms argue that uniform promote a sense of unity and equality among students that's my main idea why? Hey, how boss? Um, whatever the thought you get, write it in the second line. This is because when everyone is dressed in the same attire, it minimizes socioeconomic differences and promotes oneness among individuals. Even example, for example, if uniforms, any example related to promoting this oneness, you need to write. All right. If uniforms are not mandatory, it may influence some students to dress on their own. Some may wear an expensive outfit or clothing while some may not leading to biased feelings whatever inequality social economic differences this promotes equality if you don't mandate it means inequality that's what i'm trying to make sometimes when you don't get an answer what you can do you try to just prove if you don't do this this is the problem it happens so you do this why uniform should be mandatory not getting it if uniforms are not made mandatory, these are the problems. So make uniforms mandatory. Reverse psychology helps you 100% absolutely vital. Valid. <laughs> All right. We go to the next one. This is not required. This is enough. No, no, I can write more than you can write additionally or moreover. School uniforms can instill a sense of pride and identity. This can be seen in instances where, give an example, students feel a sense of belonging to their school community, fostering a positive school spirit, which in turn helps to create an effective environment suitable for learning. I'm just trying to support it um, using this template. It's a fairly simple template. We wrote main idea, supporting an example, one more main idea and example. And a six, seven sentence. Use the exact words. Supporters of argue that for instance, this is because additionally, this can be seen in instances where try to use the exact words. And we go to the third paragraph. Now you need to prove why you're against mandating the school uniforms. Mm, if you mandate it, it restricts their freedom of choice, their creativity, possibly. A right man, there are many ideas, but how do you write? Use the template. On the other hand, getting it? On the other hand, opponents of your Opposing what? Mandatory school uniform or school uniforms. Opponents of mandatory school uniforms contend that write a main idea in simple sentence. Uniforms limit individual expression and creativity. Write in simple sentence. Write in simple sentence. This means students may feel restricted. I wrote this means supporting idea. This refers to the fact that this is because this is due to the fact that this implies anything is fine. Students may feel restricted. You say, why it will limit the individual expression and creativity? Why, 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 why? Ah, I got a reason. Write that whatever the question mark you put, whatever the answer you got, write it in this is means. So this is because may feel restricted in their ability to showcase their unique personalities and preferences through their clothing, clothing choices. Do you have any example you want to quote in instance to instantiate? Students use their outfits as a form of self-expression or cultural representation. When you ban such 
banning such expressions means you're making it mandatory school uniform can stifle their individuality and hinder their personal growth this is enough you just proved why you are against it i want to write one more idea then don't write just one line you need to write at least two or three lines that is what i have written it here i'm going to go with another main idea moreover dash is frequently raised indicating argument 2 is frequently raised see cost associated with purchasing school uniform is frequently raised indicating it right and disadvantage disadvantage is frequently raised indicating cost associated with purchasing a school uniform is frequently raised indicating it can be burdensome for middle class or low class families below poverty line families getting it exact template will help you um, with limited financial resources this refers to the fact that mandatory school uniforms may impose an additional financial strain correct right making it difficult for some families to afford educational materials and resources simple easy peasy here we wrote two sentences here we wrote four sentences more than enough six seven sentences per para vocabulary is good coherence question is precise because you have to get because already the template is fixed you have to just fill it automatically template will take care of everything task response getting that right idea is the thing which is missing if you give that trust me you will get seven and above for sure this is with respect to third paragraph now like we already told it's a five para template fourth para we're going to talk about opinion exact copy paste after considering both sides of the argument i'm inclined to support what is your support towards mandating school uniforms yes i want people to suffer because <laughs> during my childhood school uniforms were mandatory i so hated it now if i support now if i don't support it what if they change isn't it all the school children will have their own dresses no i don't like correct correct all right so after considering both sides of the argument i'm inclined to support mandatory school uniforms can't you write this i find the arguments in favor of mandatory school uniforms or mandating school uniforms more compelling because they promote what second paragraph they promote equality they promote oneness they promote pride write it whatever you wrote in second paragraph to explain um your arguments in favor of the school uniforms take one or two points from there and just right i find the arguments in favor of school uniforms i find the arguments in favor of school uniforms more compelling because because it promotes or they promote equality discipline in a sense of belonging among students this is what we wrote in the second paragraph if you wrote if you see this is exactly what we wrote promote one is equality few things are flecked from there and oh sorry and i'm writing it here the same way while there are valid points made by the opposing side third paragraph i believe if you want you can write while there are valid points made by the opposing side such as the cost incurred in buying a uniform or restricting or stifling the creativity or expression or freedom i believe that mandatory school uniforms offer considerations or advantages that outweigh the limitations exactly copy paste things will work and believe me in this it will definitely work you can believe me on this 100% it will work this is enough the template actually helps it will help just that you need to exactly follow the structure do not leave any letter any word any sentence from it in conclusion while side a has many benefits while mandating now the conclusion is all about concluding second paragraph third paragraph fourth paragraph in two lines don't write something extra here while mandating side a means mandating school uniform can have benefits like equality one is identity this can have drawbacks such as hindering the expression of the students or um, financial burden you can write hindering the expression of students and financial burden in my opinion the benefits side a poses the benefits of mandatory uniform always out with the limitations or so benefits uniform pose always out with the limitations a use template man just use him telling you it will help you you don't have to worry too much about finishing it in 40 minutes 25 minutes 30 minutes is enough because you already have few things registered in your mind you just have to express it with some main idea supporting idea structure you don't have to worry which structure to use how to write everything the template will give you foolproof solution you just have to think about the right ideas 
and know how to use them. Practice with this any point of time you need a paid online assistance. It's not free by the way, it's a paid online assistance. You can text us, we'll give you one-to-one -one feedback. Unlimited feedback is there up to one month. You can enroll for it, enroll for the course if interested. All right, if you really like the video, I can see that whether you like the video or not through the like button, I can actually sense it. And uh, do give your appreciation with the like button if you like the video and do leave a comment if you think the video was helpful and share it with your friends. Which video you want me to post next? Do leave a comment because this video, you guys asked for it and I've come up with the same. I really hope you appreciate it. I'm helping a lot of students through this. Um, I totally understand. So I will keep doing it. So do leave a comment which video you want me to come up with. I make sure I'll come back at the earliest um, and do watch the previous three videos on templates. It will come handy. With this, I'll park it here, guys. Thanks, boys. This is Knuckle signing off from Skills IELTS. Very soon, we'll be back. Till then, take care. Bye-bye. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you.